What is going on? Long time since I've done an urban treasure hunting video. And I have, I have a weird one. I have kind of a unique one. Um, haven't done a video in a long time. And I've been, uh, I've been having some motivators recently. A couple people telling me to do some uh, haul videos or just you know put something together of some finds and just throw it up and see what happens. So I guess we'll just see what happens. I, I, think, I think this is interesting enough to to get it to uh, to get it to land on YouTube and maybe somebody will find some enjoyment out of this haul. I know I did. So um, shout out to Roberto. Thanks for the idea for this video, and I hope you like what you see. Um, it's some crazy stuff. All right. Uh, so I'm usually a jewelry guy, right? Jewelry and antiques, silver, metals, and buttons. Yes, a lot of buttons. So <laughs> I've been pouring over buttons for the last week or so, and I've learned a lot about buttons, and I need to learn a lot more. So that's, I guess, part of this video is if you see something which stands out from the rest, please tell me. Um, obviously, I want to try to cherry pick some of the super valuable ones, but I know there's others that I'm completely overlooking that are worth probably more than what I paid for the entire collection. Which probably wasn't enough. I stole these buttons. <laughs> I got them at a local auction. Um, one lot. All together. So, yeah, I guess I'll just tell you what I have learned about these. And you can correct me in the comments along the way. And tell me what you like, what you don't like. Um, these were all... They came carded. They were all like this by the previous owner or collector. Mother of Pearl. Portrait type. Pictorial buttons. Uh, a lot of cut steel and glass and rhinestone type buttons on there. Uh, kind of more of the same. Some luster type buttons. And I think by and large these are going to be like mid 1800s. Like Victorian type era. Maybe a couple early 1800s. Um, but really falls right into that niche of 1850 to 1900. So, so those are the carded buttons. Uh, here are this, like the two rows right here. These are like, I guess I tried to sort these into like an Art Nouveau type flow to them. You can see the flowers and the, and the movements and the buttons. Um, they all are kind of similar, similar motifs. Um, a couple couple uh, open work buttons, cut out type buttons. So those are cool. Um, these are the steels. You can see all the little faceted uh, steel components in these buttons. They're really well made. They're really quite intricate, some of them. Let me flip one over here. Like you can see how all the little steel stones are attached to the button. It's awesome. So those are all the cut steels. Um, this is a hodgepodge. This is like an I have no idea what's going on type pile. There's fabrics and glass and rhinestones and a little bit of hand painted stuff. And I tr truly don't know what's going on in there. You see something in there? Anything cool in there? Please tell me. <laughs> Plastics. I love plastic stuff. Um, a lot of these are Bakelite. Like these are Bakelite right here. Um, good market for Bakelite stuff, especially good carved Bakelite pieces or unique shapes. Those. Those are good. More Bakelite. Uh, cellul celluloid, um, Lucite, and just other early plastics in there. Glass. All types of different color glass. We got blue glass and white glass and purple glass because I don't know what their actual names are <laughs> but some of these are early. I think some glass buttons go way back some of them are beautiful and faceted and whatnot so all the glass military service type buttons uh, some livery buttons I believe I saw this one in here that is a nice I believe Civ Civil War era mass volunteer button uh, back mark. 
tough to make out. Johnson, something or other. So those are great. A little bit of World War One in there. Rubber, rubber buttons, good year. A lot of these have a back mark, good year, 1851. Doesn't mean they were made in 50, uh, 51, that's just the patent. So they're all like a hard rubber material. And some of them have other elements mixed in like this one, which is carved and has a mother of pearl ring in it. Really cool. Some of these I was finding, if they're really intricate, they're worth quite a bit of money. So that's cool. Let's go over here next. All mother of pearl. I love these things. They're all shells. It's all cut out of shells, polished, hand carved. Here's another one with like a darker shell and a lighter shell combined. It looks like it's got cut steels on the top too. A lot of work in that. All mother of pearl. There's another nice carved one. So those are cool. They're not super valuable, but some of the ones which are really intricately carved can bring, looks like 10, 15 bucks a button I was finding. Some nice ones in there. All right. And here, um, so I pulled out some of my favorites there and then this pile is all the uh, black glass Victorian era buttons. Nice carnival luster, I think that's called on some of these. Um, some uh, gold gilt inlay on a lot of them. Um, I don't know, I don't know how early some of these are, but I, I figured they were right around 1880 to 1900. I don't know when these started up. If you know more about glass buttons, tell me in the comments. Um, yeah, just more um. See, I'm learning about this stuff. Uh, there's rhinestones, uh, some more open work buttons, really nice floral designs. There's like a pine cone pattern. Uh, there's some enamels, convex type buttons, some more inlay type work, mother of pearl, and some other more interesting individual buttons. So these are probably my favorites in the lot. Carved mother of pearl. That's a little bake like cricket or insect or something. This is like the type that we metal detect. Cuff button, cuff style button. Just a little guy. And these two, gorgeous tiny little buttons. It's hard to see, but that pyramid is a uh, micro mosaic. It's tiny little inlaid pieces of, I guess, ceramic or glass making that pyramid. Gorgeous button. And then this um, enamel inlay, this portrait, crazy awesome. Pretty thick brass button, I guess. So that is, um, that's the take. Uh, it's been a long time since I've done a video, so I'm sure a lot of that was redundant, me saying the same thing over and over again. Um, but I just wanted to share and tell me what you think about this collection? Anything I should look at more closely? Anything that you saw that jumped out? Let me know, and I greatly appreciate you taking the time to watch this silly video. Thanks. See ya.